What does that mean? And just what's so awful about being a girl? Well, you're not a good-looking man, so I imagine that if you were a girl... You! You are the worst man that I've ever met in my life. You're intolerable. Maybe. But nobody's perfect. But I do have possession of that book, though. And that does give me a certain charm. Is that right? Who cares about your book? Huh. <laughs> Women are so emotional. Not like us fellas. Right, you're right. That's why I'm so frightened of all women. Tell me, where were you hiding? Oh, I'm sorry. Never meant to. I was on your bed, sleeping peacefully. Then all of a sudden, a girl comes in. So I really didn't have any choice except to hide there. I assume that you're another one who's come here after the book then, huh? <laughs> you're right. My God, you're so smart. Now then, are you going to give it to me nicely, or do I have to take it? Huh? Neither way. And I want you to leave right now. Hey, fellow, you're a bit odd. Odd fellas can be tough, too. Huh. You know who I am? I know that you're the leader of a clan, beggar's clan. <laughs> you're a smart fellow, just like I said. And now let's find out just how talented you are. <laughs> you would have been finished if I to use this. <laughs> Wow, you mean business. <laughs> you see, I could have finished you then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guess I have to admit defeat. But I have one question. What's that? Why are you deliberately letting everybody know that you have the secret book? I'm looking for a man. Who's that? <laughs> What's all this? I'm looking for a certain mark. But what mark? Sorry. I can't tell you. At least not now. Oh. Listen. You must know your own business best. But here's a word of advice. Be most careful and trust no one, because that book is of the utmost importance. Hmm. I'm going. So the book really is in Sue's possession, is it? Yes, it is. Saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> Mr. Chen, your man is quite right. We also saw it. Sue has the book. Mr. Chen, we do know that you're very keen on getting that book. So for a quarter of a million in silver, we'll get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Dragons can handle this by themselves. But thank you for the offer. Well, in that case, we may as well go now. But if in the future you should change your mind, then our price will be high. Now you watch Sir Yin Fong. Check every movement. <laughs> what would you like? Some tea and some noodles. All right, fine. <laughs> Waiter! Are you Su Yin Fung? That's right. All right. Come with us. Where to? King Court. To see a lady. Well, who is she? 
Black Dragon, Fighting Clan, Lady Sue, and that's who. If I refuse? Mm -hmm. Refuse? Got the fighting again. Not bad. <laughs> you see now, still now. You better come. Not bad. All right, you coming? Well, I have this bad habit. I like to fight people who fight well. Still insisting. Huh? Oh, no. no. Well, in that case, I'll come. All right? Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, please. Thanks. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, where the hell's my food? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm That's who I am. But you're not Lady Soon. Uh, and what makes you think that I'm not? I just know it. <laughs> well, how do you know? Did you ever meet her then? I never met Lady Soon, but I do know she's not only pretty, but she wears a special scent. She's pretty, but she doesn't wear scent. You really are very smart. What's more, you're nice. I am quite smart, but still, not nice. Why not? The nice die young. Because they're not smart. <laughs> and you're so right. I assume that I'm not here to discuss my qualities. I want to have the book. And the dragon spear. You offer? A uh, ton of silver. All of these girls here. Also, myself. <laughs> 